These guys right here will be coming out of the tunnel to another sellout at FedEx Field this Sunday. The commander is looking to go 3-0 and for the first time since 2005 and taking on a Bills team many believe to be one of the better contenders in the league, led by quarterback Josh Allen. But they got a real good offense. They got some playmakers, you know what I'm saying? Got a good quarterback. But, you know, I feel like it's the NFL. Everybody got a good offense, you know what I'm saying? 2 and 0 now. You guys have a chance to go 3 and 0 for the first time since 2005 for this franchise. What does that mean for this team and for this fan base? Uh, I mean a lot. You know what I'm saying? We we try to go 1 and 0 every week. You know, and hopefully we're trying to do that this week too against the Bills and like just to bring something else to the city. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, since 2005, just get the fans even more excited about us. Like hopefully we can do that. It feels uh, really good in here to be 2 and 0 when you start off the season. Um, with two wins, one on the road, one at home. You got a, good, a lot of momentum. Continue from the off season, which I feel like we've had. And um, you still don't want to look too far ahead. We got a really good Bills team coming in. Hey, look, every week I, I want to go 1 0. So uh, the fact that we 2 0, got a chance to go 3 0, I'm super excited. I'm more excited than I was last week. And I want to do anything I can to make that happen. So uh, I love the energy from the fans. You know, I feel like they, you know, in tune. They, they like paying attention. They see what we got going on right now. And uh, I just want to keep them hype. I just want to keep them up. You know, keep them behind us. It's gonna be a long season. You know, and I, uh, I just want them to be behind us. You know, every step of the way. All right, let's hope they're hyped up tomorrow. Remember, WSA 9 is your station for tomorrow's big game. You can watch it live right here, 1 o'clock, and then stay tuned for the news at 6.30. I'll have a full report from FedEx Field.